Hello everyone. My name is Rishi Chowdhury and I am Microsoft certified professional and currently I'm working as a tech lead in Royal Cyber. So today I'm give you the session for the how we can customize the role centers and what are the permission sets are available in Dynamics 365 Business Center. So as you can see this is the role center what once you will open the Dynamics 365 Business Central, you will see that screen. From that screen, you can navigate to either whatever uh, the concerned roles, uh, whatever the designations are available in the organization. So based on the organization, we will assign the role centers to the concerned users. Okay, so uh, I will show you what are the profiles are available in Business Central. So as you can see, based on the designation and to a specific work, we can assign different different profiles to different different users. So as you can see, accountant, account manager. So accountant have some limited access, but account ma accounting manager have a more access and uh, it have more privileges compared to accountant. And as an administrator can take care of the data and many things. And apart from that, as you can assign the bookkeepers, business manager, credit collector, credit and collector manager, and finance. There is a, some specific profile for finance, human resource, IT manager, manufacturing, and uh, project, project manager, which will be a part of uh, project module and uh, um, warehouse and warehouse manager so all these profiles will help us to configure the role centers which we can assign to a specific users so now i will show you how we can how we can control at more granular level to any any user so i will show the permission sets which will help us to more granularize the things. So I'm going to permission sets. As you can see, Microsoft has created many permission sets and we can create a new specific permission sets based on our requirement. So I'm, and even though in this permission sets, we can also take care of the permissions related to data. Either we can give permission for the modification, insertion of the data, which will help to few users, which they can only view the data. They cannot modify the data. They cannot delete the data. So it will enhance the security of the business central. So now I'm going to show you users how we can assign the permission sets to these users so here you can see all the list of users are available in the organization so i'm going to one of the user and and i can assign the permission sets in user permission set tab so as you can see D365 business full access extension management and local and all this whatever the permission set we want to assign to that particular user we can we can assign that so it will be more secure and it we can manage the data and we can uh, we can make more confidentiality in the business central now I'm going to show you how we can assign all those profiles which we have early earlier we have seen all those profile so we so we we can go to user personalizations from here user personalization 
if I'll go to any specific user ID, then I can see the any specific profile ID is assigned to this user. So my name is Rishi Chore and my credential is with the Rishi.chore and my, I have assigned the profile ID of the business manager. So if I'll go back to home page, then I can see what are the roles which is dedicatedly assigned to the business manager. The details will come like customers, vendors, items, bank account, chart of accounts, and here we can add so on also. And apart from that, we can go to like how many, how much overdue sales invoice is there, amount is there, how much sales quotations has been prepared, how many orders are there, invoices are there, and um, how many approvals I need to approve, and what are the unprocessed payments, all these things I will get to know through, uh, through this role center. Apart from that, I will get the graphical detail of the top five customers and with the with their values. So if we'll go here, we can navigate to each and every customers by the detail. How much sale we have done for that specific customer. Apart from that, in role center, we can see the trial balance detail itself. And here we can configure the Power BI report, which we want to show it into this role center. So if I'll go back once again to personalization, user personalization. And I will go to my ID and change my ID from business manager to warehouse worker. Then I have to refresh it. As you can see, pick put away, movement, warehouse shipment, warehouse receipt. So previously all the customers, vendors and chart of accounts, all details were coming. Now, now it's dedicatedly related to warehouse worker detail will come. So they cannot able to see all the customers, vendors, chart of account details. And here it is also classified by in inbound and outbound activities for the warehouse and what are the internal activities are happening any movement internally is happening so we can see here apart from that we can see the dedicated items are assigned to me we can see all those detail we can create the transfer order directly from here we can see you all the warehouse receipts and warehouse shipments directly from here thank you for watching this video have a nice day